Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I realized I've never properly introduced myself to this channel, so here we go. My name is Stephanie, I'm 22, and a couple of months ago I opened an Etsy shop where I sell sewing patterns. I had a lot of people tell me they want to learn how to sew but they don't know where to start or what to look for, and I saw on YouTube that it's kind of hard to find a step-by-step -step on how to learn, kind of like how you would learn at school. Um, you kind of have to pick a video, like if you want to learn how to do a ham, you have to type like how to do a ham, but there's no like real course. So that's what I wanted to make. I wanted to make a absolute beginner sewing course. So let's start with what this series is. So the series is how to sew in 30 days, meaning every day is going to be a new video. And in that video, I'm going to be teaching you something new about sewing. Each video will cover one topic. And once you're done watching it, you're going to practice what you learn and you can't go to the next video until like what you learn is perfect. You know, you can do it without even thinking about it. At the beginning of the course, you're going to be learning the basics. So how to thread your sewing machine, different types of stitches, then we'll move on to sleeves. And by the end of it, you should know how to sew pants, uh, shirts and dresses. I just want this series to make it easy for you to learn how to sew because I know that learning different things like different skills can be super difficult and it looks hard but if someone walks you walks you through it step by step i just feel like it's going to make it so much easier and it's going to make you want to actually do it so basically i'm going to walk you through the process and if you have any questions you can just comment them down below and i'm going to be happy to answer and i'm hoping that other people will be able to answer as well so we can all help each other out for example, if I teach you how to do something one way, but you know how to do that same thing another way, that might be more efficient. Like, just comment it so that everyone can learn. I, I'd love to learn as well. Now, what to do in order to get the most out of this series? Learning how to sew is just like learning anything else. All you need is practice, 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 and repeat. Watching the video is only 5% of the work. After it's done, you have to go over to your sewing machine and practice what you learn because if you only watch the video and tell yourself, well, I mean, I understood what was said, I can do it, then you're wrong, you're not really learning anything. Think of it like math, right? If you're stuck in a problem, even if the teacher explains it to you, you might think you understand and you might understand, but once you actually have to do it, you'll get stuck on it. So you have to practice, practice, practice until it's just muscle memory. Same thing with sewing. And like I said before, I don't want you to move on to the next video until you've perfected what you learned in the previous one. So think of it like homework. I'm giving you homework. And if you don't do the homework, the only person you're cheating is yourself. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but... Now, how achievable is this actually? I know it seems impossible to learn how to sew in 30 days, but you're not going to be learning how to sew in 30 days. Like, there's going to be one video per day, but, like, you have a life, you know? Like you have work, you have school, uh, I don't know, you have something. So it might take you two months, three months, five months, a year, it doesn't really matter. Just go at your own pace and make sure you do it right. I see this a lot. I want to try, but I don't know if I'm good enough. You're good enough, okay? What I always say is that if I can do it, you can do it. Because I remember when I first wanted to learn how to sew, I, I saw like tutorials on YouTube, I looked at darts, I looked at patterns, and I thought, wow, this is so complicated, I could never do that. And here I am. I learned how to sew two years ago, and now I'm selling patterns, right? Like, it's achievable, you can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Also, if you don't do it now, when will you do it? It sucks to say, but time is ticking, and you gotta do the things, you gotta go for it. You gotta do the things that you wanna do, and not let anything stand in your way. And you know what? The one thing that's gonna stand in your way usually is yourself. So don't make up excuses, you know? Like, just, just do it. And you know what? I used to think that learning things was hard. Turns out it really isn't. It just looks difficult because you don't know anything about the topic. But once you learn slowly, it honestly just becomes easy. I wanted to learn the guitar with my dad and I thought it was gonna be the hardest thing in the world. Turns out, if you practice and you just actually do it and you don't stop, it's pretty easy. You know what? I taught myself how to sew and how to learn English. So after that, I really do think that anything is possible if you just put your mind to it. All right, now I'm done with my motivation speech. Uh, let's talk about the tools you'll need to get started. So 
So obviously the first one is a sewing machine, very important. Um, if you don't have one, don't go out and splurge a lot of money on one because that's really no not necessary. Uh, you can just find some pretty cheap ones online. I'm gonna try to list some down below. Um, also, if there's one at home, right? You might think, oh, it's old, but like, it's kind of worth it to try. Like, I'm sure maybe your mom or your grandma has one or your dad or your grandpa. Um, also, you can look on marketplace or, you know, places like that. that. I don't suggest it that much just because I've heard a lot of horror stories where you buy a sewing machine and it just doesn't work. And having a machine that doesn't work will make you just not want to sew because the task is going to seem so much harder than it is. So yeah, no, j just get a good sewing machine. Get a good one. Next one is a serger. Now I know that's not what you wanted to hear and it's not, it's only optional, okay? Like a serger is basically just the machine that's gonna make your edges look professional. It's gonna trim them and keep the fabric from fraying. Uh, but if you don't wanna splurge on one, because I know they can be expensive, um, you can always finish your edges with a zigzag stitch. It's just, you know, if you want it to look professional, you can. Like, I know that if I'm doing a project and like there's even a little something wrong with it, I'm just not gonna be proud of it and not wanna show anyone and just, you know, wanna huh, hide it in a corner. So I don't want that to happen to you. But if you're not a perfectionist like me, it should be fine. It is the one thing that's optional on this list. Next thing is fabric scissors very important you've probably heard this before don't use regular scissors to cut your fabric i mean you can try it's just not gonna work you need some good fabric scissors uh also regular scissors because you won't use your fabric scissors to cut your pattern uh your pattern is made out of paper so don't don't use your good scissors on that scotch tape you'll need scotch tape to tape your patterns together because you're probably going to be printing them on a sewing machine uh, on a sewing machine on a home printer <laughs> i guess we could add that yeah printer would be good printer and paper um chalk or a water soluble pencil that's just to mark your fabric um ruler slash measuring tape you will definitely need that um, i have a couple of rulers i have a straight one a curved ones and then this measuring tape very very useful seam ripper oof that's to rip out your seams we all think we're not gonna need it but we do i remember thinking well i'm not gonna make mistakes i'm just gonna like you know take my time make sure i don't need one that was obviously a lie i needed one and they're not very expensive so it's worth it i promise a tracing wheel uh, i love tracing wheels especially for beginners because you can just take your pattern you can take your pattern and trace the seam with it and then when once you take out the the pattern piece you're left with your fabric and you can see exactly where you need to sew there's going to be like little dots in your fabric and if you want to go a step above you can use your chalk and mark down that line so that when you sew on your sewing machine you you can see clearly where where you're supposed to sew because i know that can be that can be difficult when you're beginning Pins slash clips, obviously you'll need that to pin your fabric, uh, to cut it, you know, you, you just need it. Thread, you'll need thread for your sewing machine, uh, scrap fabric that kind of goes with it. Um, old pillowcases, bed sheets, those are great. Um, if you want, you can buy muslin, that's just a pretty cheap fabric uh, that's used. I use it to make my patterns. Uh, at the beginning of my sewing journey, I bought like, I think, 20 yards of muslin because I knew I would need it and I still have some left. So, pretty useful. That's what I'll be using to teach you uh, how to sew. I forgot to mention this, but you're also going to need an iron to make your seams lay flat. Now, I told you all the tools you need, but where do you buy those sewing supplies? Um, if you're in the US, I suggest buying your sewing supplies at Wawak don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I don't really care, uh, and your fabric at Joann's. I'm not from the US, but that's what I've gathered from watching a lot of YouTubers, like that's where they buy their stuff. Uh, if you're in Canada, like me though, um, you can buy your sewing supplies and your fabric at Fabricville, that's one example. Uh, Fabricville is cool because if you go in store, you can buy a $25 member card and it gives you discounts on everything. I think, I'm pretty sure the minimum is 10%, and then it can go up to like a lot. 
like 50% or something. That's pretty good. But you can't use it on the online store, just in the store. My favorite place to buy fabric is just little places in your hometown. Like just ask your, your parents, oh, do you know a sewing store, like a fabric store? And chances are they're gonna know one. Um, I have one in my hometown and then one the town over. Uh, they're really great and they're usually cheaper than fabric bill so i really suggest it and it's good to support small businesses all right i guess that's the end of this introduction um i will start posting the sewing tutorials right now so if you're watching this you can already go over to day one i'll probably have posted like a couple days ahead so like day one day two day three hopefully <laughs> we'll see I, y you tell me so a big thank you for watching this video and I really hope that you actually do it because how cool would that be? In 30 days you could learn how to sew. Just saying, could be really fun. Alright everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.